It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day at that as we are set for football at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Kansas City. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to three-peat. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. And incomplete to open things up. It's zone defense right away here defensively, and I know that these linebackers and DBs are going to be tested throughout. They passed the first test, though. This one falls incomplete. Now a second and ten. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Now Mahomes. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. It's a 43-yard punt, a return of five. And the Bears take over. So the Bears ready to go on offense, and it's the number one overall pick leading him out, the Heisman Trophy winner from USC, Caleb Williams. And we're talking about a young man who proved it at every step along the way, first at Oklahoma, then at USC. Big-time talent, big-time production, and won a Heisman Trophy while playing for the Trojans. Now the number one overall pick lands in Chicago, and there's an awful lot of talent awaiting him. And now he gets a chance to utilize those weapons. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Chris Jones, the all-pro, in on the stop. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. To throw, it's Williams. They'll get this complete to the rookie from Washington. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We all speculated that this offense was going to be a lot more high-powered, and Adunze's drafting definitely puts it in that category. Explosive speed, refined routes, and last year he led college football in contested catches with 21. Here's Williams. 
Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you know, under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So here's a third and 14. Looking to throw is Williams. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. A punt of 46, a return of five. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and ten. Yeah, that's a nice pickup there, especially when it comes on the heels of a three and out the first time you have the ball. They were determined to not have that happen again, and that's a nice throw for their first first down of the game. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He finds his man, Sky Moore. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution. They are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that <laughs> one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Now it's Mahomes again. Out right and brought in by Moore. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? 
go where the defenders are not. And he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Here's Mahomes to throw. He finds more in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And a great return, solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. The Bears in good field position to start out first and ten at the 45. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. To the air, Williams. And that is incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. To throw, Williams. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's really good play design right there, and it's one that comes down to the offensive line. It's a deep in route, but it's only going to work if that line gives you time in the pocket to wait for the route to develop. Mission accomplished there as they pick up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing is Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end commit. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and 10. On first and ten, it's Swift. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Now a second and two. From the gun, here's Williams. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. 
It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And that's a nice job of working his way open down in the red zone. Look that one in and then made a beeline for the pylon. He didn't quite get there, and you want to give him a little extra for the effort. But instead, he sets his guys up in excellent shape. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Bears are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? why I wouldn't it? change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got a man, it's Brown. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Seven seven, our score after one. The second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football from the thirty three. Here's second and six as they've got it as we resume action to throw it's Mahomes throwing the out route incomplete that's Rice second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, was the one disrupting there defensively. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now here's Mahomes, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mahomes going to throw. Escaping the pressure, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. And we clearly saw right there why the Bears went out and got Montez Sweat last season. He's a player who appears to be on an upward trajectory, and plays like that are certainly a big reason why. On fourth down, Matt Arises sent on to punt. 
His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Here now, second and four. Operating from the gun, Williams. And that's complete to the right side of Taylor. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll look to throw now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll go play action here with Williams. Blitz coming and down he goes. That was Justin Reed, the safety, who got to the quarterback. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. From the gun, here's Swift. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Working out of the gun, Williams. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. And that big game may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll try it now with Swift. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he is going to have the Bears first down, and he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did you see the quarterback just point to the sideline and say, uh-uh, everybody back. 
I've got this call. Well, you knew this side of the field, they're in plus territory, fourth and one. He wasn't coming off the field. No, he wasn't coming off the field, and he wasn't letting the offense go with him at all. He said, we're staying out here, and we're picking this one up. That's some leadership right there. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Santos now to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A 10-play drive that time. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Chiefs offense set to go. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On play action, it's Mahomes. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for KC, and even 40 yards. The defense, they weren't fooled on that post route. They just couldn't make the play. And the offense definitely tried to fool them because you saw the other route combinations, didn't you? Anything that they were running trying to draw attention away from the deep part of the field, but still had it covered, yet they were able to come up with a nice play. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. In motion goes the tight end. Mahomes now to throw. This one is caught. It's Moore. Touchdown. Sky Moore with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Butker now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two.
This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's thrown touchdown passes on his last two drives as he begins here, first and ten. On play action, here's Williams. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Now second and five. To throw, it's Williams. He'll find his man, that's Freddie Swain. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route, and they just executed that one pretty well. Here's Williams. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Looking to throw is Williams. Throwing right and that's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure but backed off, and it proved fruitful they get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there exactly as you described an interception the Chiefs gonna go back on offense here late in this first half and now they start in plus territory following that turnover as they'll try to get some points here before halftime so from the 36 now first and 10 So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Now Mahomes, looking right side, and it's intercepted. Kyler Gordon puts it off, and the Bears are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone and that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage and they pick that one off. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He finds his target, Allen. 
Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down to the air Williams this is caught touchdown Bears DJ Moore a 22 yard touchdown grab and the Bears will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half solid response that time by a young quarterback last drive interception this drive the touchdown pass I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. Well, the Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's complete to Brown, right side. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So from the 36 now, first and 10. In motion, the tight end. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he's got the hook up to Moore. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Montez Sweat. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three.
Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to go to work once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Throwing is Williams. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. They go quickly here out to Moore. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. To throw, Williams. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Back to throw again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. A loss of two there, second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Were you as surprised as I was that they actually ran it on second down there? I thought that they would go ahead and throw it in every situation here. Yeah, they've thrown for three touchdown passes. Now here, I think they probably go back to the air. Yeah, I think so. But ordinarily, second down is when you run your play fake, your play action, show run, and throw the ball. Now they brought up third down. They'll have to throw it anyway. Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Keenan Allen, a five-yard touchdown. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. Santos with the extra point and the lead now up to 14. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in you can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially but you have to do it without pressing because pressing that'll lead you into bigger errors his throw incomplete oh, i like the calmness of how he played the ball here no panic in his eyes as that throw arrived tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away second and ten And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now here's Mahomes. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. The ball under 32. It's second and two. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front, 
and wing in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now. Once again, it's Swift. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run here with Swift. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. It'll go as a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now? is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one caught by Rice. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. From the 24 now, here's second and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Mahomes going to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that could really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. They'll look to throw again. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 down at the 33. Mahomes now to throw. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. So he stopped for no gain. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. 
And the throw there going to be incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Butker's kick here is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the posts. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And able to get this out to the 25. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. Mahomes will throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And now this fourth quarter becoming very interesting. That pick six makes this a one-score game. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how aggressive they choose to be. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Throwing after the interception. Williams. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Looked like a pretty good safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. You know, we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC.
Swift going to try up the middle. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, that's why the guy with the headsets is down there. All right, they know what they're doing because they got stuffed on a running play on first down. And I think myself and probably the fans were saying throw the football in this situation. But he knew what he was doing, called another run, and now they've got third and short. On play action, here's Williams. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You could see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Flushed out right. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Yvonne, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On the handoff, this is Swift. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and 10. They run out of the gun with Swift. He takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw, it's Williams. That will be swaying complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? Here's Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they're thinking, let's just pound it in there. Got to hold him to three to keep this a one-score game. Powerful running. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the great move out of the bag, but couldn't do a ton with it. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Swift. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Ooh. 
So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to swell the lead to six. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down by six. A minute 50 to play. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Mahomes looking for Gray, and he's got him into space at the 45. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Another try, second and ten now. Mahomes. He finds his man complete. It's Rice. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. Now they can boot it through on the always important extra point, and then their defense has to hold up their end of the bargain. And there's something that you've pointed out in numerous games that we've worked. Okay, the excitement's going on. Everyone's celebrating over there. Who's calling up the defense to make sure they're focused because they still have some work to do? Butker on for the PAT. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Yeah. 
Here's first and ten. Back to throw. And that's complete to Swain. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. Here comes second down. They'll look to throw. Gets this to Moore. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and ten. Back to throw. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Here's second and a yard. He'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. Here's first down. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. So a very interesting final chapter to this proverbial book here in this one because they were in field goal range, could have won it with a field goal, elect to go for the touchdown. I still don't know what they were doing. As great as this game was and as dramatic an ending as we had, the post-game press conference is going to be key because they're going to be asking Coach, why not a field goal attempt there? You got an opportunity to win it right there with your, with your guy, and instead you run another play. Yeah, we might need to stop by that press conference on our way out the back door here. Yeah, just slow down the plane for us, all right? We got we to gotta get an answer before we go. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.